General Explorer here, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the multi switch, turn signal, windshield wiper, high, lean, high beam, low beam switch on a 1998 E350 cargo van. Um, I've got this new switch right here that I bought off of Amazon.com, and I'm just going to show you, go through the process of showing you how to uh, install it. So let's get at it. Okay, so step one to getting, uh, we've got to get this housing off here. And so to do that, we're going to have to take this ignition uh, switch out, which is actually quite easy to do. Now, you can either disconnect your battery or not. It doesn't matter. You can take it out with the battery turned on. Um, if you don't want to hear the beep beep when you put the key and stuff in, uh, then you'll need to take it out. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver, a small enough one. There's a little hole right here, and you need to go up in there at an angle, kind of like that. You, there's a little thing in here, and when you hit it, You can feel that it kind of depresses a little bit like a spring and you just turn your key to the on position while pushing in on that and then push in on that and out comes this cylinder okay so it's pretty easy you just press in on this here find that little there's a little notch your screwdriver tip will slip right into it you push in on that turn it to on position pull out obviously it's been in here for a long time so it's corroded but it wasn't hard to take out at all Sometimes it might take a little more force, but it's quite easy to do. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is take the tilt arm off so that we can get this lower housing off. And you're just gonna need a pair of pliers or a wrench. There's a little slot over here, and we're gonna go counterclockwise, or what they call left. And it basically just screws out. It should come out easy, but this has been here a long time. So you just have to unscrew it till it actually starts coming out. like. And then you can do it by hand. And we're just gonna unscrew this, okay? So it had some Loctite on it, that's why it was so hard to get out. All right, so now we there's some screws underneath here, some Phillips, we're gonna take these out. There's one here. On some models, there'll be another one here. On this one, there isn't. And then there's two on the other side. So we're going to take those screws out and then we'll move on. Okay, so we got some Phillips screws underneath here that we're just going to take out. Okay, so now we can remove this. Ooh, that's dirty in there. It's been a while. And... We can just pull this up and out of the way and it comes off here. So we removed the housing. Now we can get to this thing right here. Now to get this off, there are two screws, one here and one down here you need to get out. And you're gonna need a size T20 star bit or Torx bit to get those out and a driver. And we'll just take those, these two screws out. Okay, so now we've got to take these two electrical connectors out. And it's kind of a trick to get them out because you have to have, you have to release both these levers at the same time. So you're going to need two flat screwdrivers to basically lift on them at the same time and then pop them right out. So we'll take the lower one out first. Now the top one's a little trickier. It's got a, it's got one underneath and one on top. So what we're going to do is get our screwdriver positioned right here underneath first and it's kind of awkward position try this a little bit longer one here get it in there like that okay and then hold that in position come on top and lift here and there we go now we've got the old one out we can go ahead and simply 
put the new one right in its place. It snaps in. This one snaps in here. And that's as easy as it is, and just it's just a matter of putting it back together now. Okay, so now we're just going to put this back in here. Got to line that slot up with that slot right there and just kind of push it, work it in, and we're done. That's as easy as it is. Well, there we have it all installed. Brand new multifunction switch turn, turn signal on a 1998 Ford E350. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. I will place a link to this product in the description of the video. If you're interested in it, just click on the show more. Until next time, this is the Jungle Explorer signing out.